I'm Alexander Dovisevich, the host of The Great Outdoors. For several years, I've been scouring the southeast, searching for the worst stinging insects. And over the course of several years, I've encountered numerous stinging insects. In fact, the most stinging insects on the YouTube platform. Stinging insects come in all shapes and sizes. From the scorpions you may see on pine trees, to the wasp under your house eaves, or through your oak trees. This is the low moth caterpillar. It is a stinging insect. However, I can't say I've ever seen anybody document or record the reactions of the stings created from the low moth caterpillar. So, that brings us to this point right here. The low moth caterpillar is a larval phase from the low moth. And the low moth is one of the most stunning looking moths you will find here in Florida. The low moth comes from the family Saturnidae, which comprises some of the largest moths around the world. The Atlas moth, the Polyphemus moth, and the Luna moth. While the larval phase of some of these other moths don't actually have a sting, they all have mock stingers and typically look like they can sting you. Right here on this branch we have a beautiful caterpillar, a bright almost fluorescing green color. It is the low moth caterpillar, and it is a stinging caterpillar. Now, I've never seen anybody test the sting of this species of caterpillar, but I will test the sting here today. It's really cool because I planted this tree like a year ago, and there was no tree here. But now, seeing different animals all make their homes right here. If you look right here, there's actually look a lot of you Three blue eggs. There's no eggs in it, but there were eggs in it this year. So I suppose there's... Uh, babies have fledged out but let's go ahead and test the sting of the low moth caterpillar and see just how bad that actually is all right now i'm going to induce the sting right here on the arm and i should just be able to just touch it right here with your arm. Good on that. see okay oh yeah i already feel that yep so it's your turn not too bad but that's really there so oh yeah oh it's burning worse now already. So that's actually picked up a good bit. Um, and in just a few minutes, I suppose, we're going to see some sort of swelling erotic area from that. You hear all those cicadas? Another inhabitant here, insect inhabitant here on my property. I'm feeling the burn now. It's definitely got some burn to it. So it's getting late. The cicadas just picked up. Um, what a blessing to be able to see something as cool as the low moth caterpillar and let's go ahead and wait a few minutes and see what the reaction actually is i'll get back again in about five minutes in a matter of a minute it's already swelled up pretty good there's a pretty good swelling area this is just one minute into it pretty good swelling area i'm not gonna lie that's a pretty good swelling area in a matter of a minute damn punk in the matter of like one minute, this is swelling really fast. Uh, the burn, pretty comparable to a sting. It didn't have quite as immediate of an effect though, but it's an itching feeling already. This is five minutes in, and that swelling area has pretty much filled the whole area where you saw all the dots before. It's all swollen now. Pretty good little area. Maybe we can see it better here. I really appreciate all of y'all's support and hopefully we'll see you again here soon. Thanks everyone. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission all about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction, so many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees, Bees and, and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. 
Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. So it's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. Specimen. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation. Because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it. Which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is. Because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Every day a new adventure, a new creature. Shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible.